All right, man. It's Boom 103.9, Philly's Hip Hop and R&B, DJ A, Boogie Boy, Stop. I got the one and only man, the homie. Yeah. You know, BJ, the Chicago kid, is What's in the up, building, baby? ladies and gentlemen. What's happening? Chi-Town. What's yeah, yeah. up, bro? I'm good, man. Happy to be back home again. This is another <laughs> home of mine right here. Now that's that's a that's a beautiful 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 compliment to the city. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Sense. Brand new album out right now. Yes, Eleven twenty three. Eleven twenty three. Now I, I I know somebody's wondering, so I'm gonna just ask off the mm-hmm. bat: What is the significance with eleven twenty three? Is it a number? Is it a date? Is it? Um, the it, it is a date. Okay. Uh, the date is my birthday. Okay. Um, just being so busy in this industry, trying to make something of myself, um, it causes an absence okay. in other parts of your life. It's very very just as important. Okay. Even more important. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Um, I think too, man, um, to give one thing that I kinda never lack at as a gift is I think is um one of the best gifts I could give. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um and I think that's musically what I do. You know what I'm saying? Amazing. Um so I wanted to wrap it up into a um an album and um include all the celebrations from um in my mind as well. The the whole Obama <sighs> thing, the whole Grammy nominations. Um, I mean just traveling the world just from saying yes to do music, man, is yeah. um, everything that's wrapped up in eleven twenty three. So that's what it is. It's a celebration, it's a gift to the people as well. Listen, that 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 was a great way to let us, you know, segue into um I don't know if we if we should ask, but yeah, the the in my mind came out with like two thousand and sixteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's two thousand and nineteen. Yep. So was it like was it personal development all that time? Was it, was, it just it was like getting life that. together? It was, it was all of that. Um any heartbreak in there? Was yeah, it was yeah, yeah, okay. all of that. I broke a couple too. <laughs> oh man, okay. <laughs> I broke okay. a couple faces too, man. <laughs> oh man, but, um, okay, okay. Shot think, town um, for real. Yes, sir. But, but to, <laughs> to um to be a true artist and to be the one in the studio, um, I don't want to say necessarily controlling the creative, but a big part of the creative. It's very necessary to live life, you know, and don't be afraid to um, fall or fly. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Don't, okay. be afraid, don't be afraid to F and F, <laughs> fall and fly. I think those are the things that um that uh, encourage the music. I think it motivates the music. It, it mutes the music. Mm-hmm. I feel like um it just helps you stay grounded. It keeps you level-headed, and it also elevates you at the same time. Nah, nah, that's definitely um what, what, what I can say just from, from listening to it. I listened to it straight through once. I didn't give it the second yeah, yeah, listen through yet. That's coming up. on a wheel because yeah, you got to give it the car up. test. Uh-huh. Um, I gave it the, the headphone test, yeah, yeah. but I need the car test just yeah, to yeah, vibe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, congrats yeah. because you just reached a, a million views yes, on sir, Time yes, Today. Time Today video, yeah. So, time Today is, uh, that's, our, that's our baby right there, man. Um, Time Today is the song that we know was a no-brainer for BJ fans or anybody that has never um, really sipped from the BJ Cup. Mm-hmm. I knew it would be magnetic for them, too, as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I just feel like that song was a no-brainer. But um, shout-out to Scotty Bean, man. She rocked with us uh, during the video, and um, she played my leading lady. I think she did an incredible right. job. She held us down. She um, kept it very professional, too, so it was dope, man. It's dope. I'm happy y'all loved it. Nah, that's definitely, like... When I when I when I hear like BJ music, man, it gives me so so many different emotions that I feel like the industry just needs. Cause it's Thank like you, I don't want to spend too much time on in my mind, but that is arguably one of my favorite, you know, what I mean, albums because it's like, um, I guess coming from like a Chicago scene. Mm-hmm. It's so hard, and we'll get into that, you yeah, know, in a little no, bit. I'm but here, like, coming from the Chicago scene, like hearing songs like, you know, uh, turn it, turning me, turn me, uh, turn me up, yeah, 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 turn yeah. me up, like yeah. that, just give me that, like Sunday snapping, cooking, yeah, listening yeah, yeah. to your grandma. I mean, your yeah, grandma yeah. in the kitchen, yeah, yeah, yeah. like that feel. Then you go with the 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 uh, the acoustic sounds mm-hmm. of um. Uh, it's Jeremiah my favorite song. And the heart crush and all heart that. crush. That's what it is. I'm thinking <laughs> yeah. of heart crush because I watched crush it. Heart crush is a real song too. That's a real song from real lyrics from real life. Yeah, I that I lived at some point in my life. Yeah, that yeah. song right there. If y'all haven't listened to, I know y'all did. You know, I know y'all <laughs> sipped from the cup. You know what I'm saying? Hope so, hope so. <laughs> Heart Crush is magnetic. Thank you, brother. In my opinion. You Thank know you, what I mean? Just, I wrote even, this song probably about 15 minutes, man. Yeah. Because it was just truth. It was all truth. It was just like. That's crazy. It just and I seen I love the way that the, the way that song came together because you could do it with a band. I've seen you do it with a like DJ. You could do it with probably just a guitar. Yeah, like yeah, so many too. different ways that yeah. you could do it. So it's like with that type of music, that's just timeless, you know Thank what I mean, you, in my opinion. Thank so you. what would you what would you say is your 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 turning me up or your heart crush of eleven twenty three? What is that um, song that I know time today? Yeah, I don't I don't necessarily hold a song up to another song that says this would service Okay. This particular crowd, I really um, I go off the feeling and the vibe. Um, I think naturally you have songs like "Can't Wait." Mm-hmm. You have songs like um, 
Reach. You have songs like um, Champagne is champagne no Champagne, is champagne before good. midnight. That. Uh, too good. I think too good. I, I think is uh maybe the closest to okay. like a a heart crush or a Jeremiah something to that effect. Right. Too good. I think is the song that um. It kind of always kicks off the conversation piece at the Q and A, mm-hmm. but it kind of like 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 get the tables to to, to shaking a little bit because some I think it's um it's so many hidden gems in that particular one song. So um the song is pretty much about um a woman that's any woman that's poss- possibly been in a relationship where she thought everything was dope with the guy, mm-hmm. she thought it was gonna just be like incredible, and then he just faded out. <laughs> okay, the, the truth said it. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Just fade out. She like, why? What happened? And it's not because she probably did something wrong. It's probably he just wasn't really accept. He wasn't ready to accept how good she was. Right, right. And he right. didn't want his old self to die. And he didn't want to break her heart either. So he just chose to fade to black. That's a. Out. I've done it before. I, I wouldn't say that. That's a very mature way of putting. Like I finally <laughs> probably hit. And now I'm done with it. No, I'm yeah, just so it's not like, <laughs> <laughs> no, so like it's not, I it's accomplished not that, the goal. It's not because I'm not even saying that the <laughs> nah, guy I'm necessarily joking, I'm even hit. But <laughs> it's a time where I think it's a time where it's a time where we don't want our old self to die. Right, right. And um, there's also a time. It's also a, a person that us that if we see that person with somebody else, we'd be like, oh, hold on, hold on, yeah, hold on. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that reality is one thing that um allows the woman to know don't stop being too good just because that persist- that particular situation wasn't right, for you right, or right, didn't right. work out the way you thought it would be. It's probably not even meant for you to be with that person, but regardless, I think the woman should never lessen who she is if she's that potent. Right, right, if right. If she's that on point. And then some women let the guy faded to black and he faded black for a good reason. For a good reason. So it's not always, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but but too good is for the woman that actually is too good and um, she begin to doubt herself. Nah, baby, keep dressing fly. Yeah. And keep that smile because somebody gonna notice this and the right one gonna get you right. Let's Listen, man, yeah. that that right there is I can't I couldn't have said it better. You know what I mean? <laughs> Too good is yeah, yeah. one of those singles that ladies you need to actually listen to. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, coming from Chicago, mm-hmm. it's so much different music that we hear from Chicago. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? And it's it's so different dope. Different sounds because it, and all that genres, all that. Sh- yeah, Man, yeah. when I say we could go from the drill to the to the the R and B top R and B artist ever, to the and gutter is rap. What? To, and then you got a rapper that can rap about Jesus. So it's like, yeah. hey, it's it's, it's everything. So it's what, everything. what? What would you say was your inspiration coming out of that? I guess musical melting pot. You know, mm-hmm. to to be who B J is today. All of it is a big part of who I am. From um from Curtis Mayfield to Chief Keith, bro. I get it. I understand it. <laughs> okay. It's a part of me. It's a part of my bloodline. It's a part of the air that I breathe. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a part of the city that raised me. Um, our sound is truth. Yeah. Um, Keith gonna tell you the real about how it is from his eyes and from his position, and I'll do the same thing for mine. Curtis would do the same thing in his time. Right, right, right. Um, and I think everybody else, you know, everybody else tell their truth and try to color it in the most um vibrant colors possible right and i think that's what allows the world to, to get a hold of it love it identify with it and um want to take that walk through the, however many more times you put out albums or whatever else you're going to do i think um chicago is just very good at we're good at doing us right and if our us is what you want we're doing extremely well. Nah, that's, that's the best a, way I could put it. That that was a that was a great way I would say uh, putting it is that y'all are extremely good at doing doing y'all because um you know from like I said from the outside in you mm-hmm. just get so many different experiences yeah, yeah, yeah. from Chicago and it's almost like you know you would you would expect that from somewhere like a powerhouse like you know uh, like Atlanta and mm-hmm. then you get it from L A where it's yeah. like you know we got 15, 20 artists in rotation in mm-hmm. Chicago when you actually look at the amount of artists that come out of Chicago. Ago, it's almost like I don't want to disrespect the city and say overlook, but it's kind of like when you talk about like where to go like, for music, you don't automatically like think man, Chicago. Twista belongs to us. Like yeah, what? What? people forget like that. Twista belongs to us. Like for real, for real. <laughs> Adrenaline rush. Yeah. For yeah. real. You know, it's just it's just so many um unique talents that mm-hmm. come in the city. It's not just um somebody well, I can rap. It's a it's a real personal um little creative that they have that gives them a different like sound or a different vibe from another artist. Right, that's right. what I appreciate from Chicago. Um, you can't sound like future. Right, and, right, right, right. Yeah, it's like yeah, they're yeah, gonna yeah. go by the future. Understood. You know understood. what I'm saying? Understood. So I just appreciate um I appreciate just just to the Chicago artists, I appreciate y'all um standing in the cubby hole, keeping it keep keep grinding until you find that right place that's for you and and you begin to find that um I call it a fingerprint. You know what right, I'm saying? Something right. that only you can do. 
And I think um, that's what uh, allows the world to love you even more, man. So shout, shout out to the crib. Nah, Chicago, We I, th- I feel like we could relate to it so much in um, Philadelphia just because if you think about the Philadelphia scene, some people will argue that we may be like the Neo soul, you know. Uh, I don't even gonna, I don't I don't even say Neo. Man, y'all. Just the soul. Yes, just the soul. I, I, think, <laughs> okay. I think Neo soul just puts such a a different meaning to the word. Yeah. Just just changing the word, putting Neo in front of it just makes it. Yeah. I think um like like gambling huff bro yeah for real, yeah man. people don't know people don't, people man, like, from Philadelphia you can still don't turn even on know the course that. light commercial here people all over the world yeah Bang, join hands. Hands. they yeah, don't you, know like I mean old money bro <laughs> old money like some money probably ain't never been spent the first time since it came in the door right type right money. right yeah. right right like Philadelphia has been one of those uh one this is one of the places where if you sang if you had some type of um fingerprint on your sound, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You had to come to Philly to get the to get the real from someone. Right. I think most of all, like Philly is just such a real city where um you can't help but talk about it. It reminds me of Chicago a lot. That's why I call this like my third home. Mm-hmm. Like um man, you 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 can't really um you can't really go nowhere in Philly and not see our people. <laughs> We everywhere, <laughs> and I love it when our presence is felt, when right. it's known, when we feel like we have a place, and we know we have a place. It, it's a little more comfort for us as a people. Mm-hmm. Um, for anybody else that comes, it's a black man or a black woman that want to come to this place. They will feel the same love and the right. same essence. And I think that's what makes um, this place kind of feel like home to me. Like no yeah. matter where I go in Chicago, I see my people, my yeah. presence felt, and we are who we are. The right, right, are. right, right, right. And I think it, it's a it's it's a pride there. Mm-hmm, it, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm proud to be a black man. It's definitely um seeing how strong we are in certain cities and um how it's just so potent, man. And, right, and our right. Potency. I think that controls the music a lot. It's nowhere in the world that Gamble and Huff come up with that music in Arizona. Yeah, you know what I'm <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, it's not gonna. They happen. had to have that good food. They had to see these smiles on the face. They had to see. You ever seen a kid that um kid maybe about about eight years old, mm. but like he about forty five in his eyes. Right, 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 right. Seen right. so much, you know. I think that's the type of stuff that um we represent. Those are the faces. Those are voices we represent. And Philly is definitely a, a man, a top representative of us as a black race. I think Philadelphia has always done that. I mean. Before the '80s, before the '70s, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, right, it's, it's, right, right. It's been here, and I, I, I always got love for this place. Man. Nah, man, we, yeah. well, we can't, we can't thank you enough for coming through, man. I, I, I mean, before we get out of here, because I know we on a time limit. It's crazy. Is it? The best interviews got to end early. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> usually we keep rapping, and they be like, "Yo, we got to cut it." But no, nah, man, one season, last right, time before we slide out, BJ mm-hmm. the Chicago kid. That 1123 yes, album sir. is yes, out sir. right now. It's another dimension of who I am, man. For those that um just really wondering what it is. What is 1123? It's not just my new album. It is another dimension of who I am. Mm-hmm. I refuse to um I refuse to uh pass on and let everybody else try to tell you what they thought I would have did with this music or put it out how they thought I would have done it. Mm-hmm. I think it's always up to me to um find out how to give it to you in a in a way that you can understand it and understand me at the same time. Right. Because there are different sounds on this album. Afrojack is not a um a hip hop producer. Right, you know right, 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 right. Um Rick Ross is not a R and B rapper. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like the the people and the the elements that take place in this album is another dimension of who I am. So I really hope you guys love it, appreciate it and, and continue to rap. You already know, man. Yeah. Boom one oh three nine, Philly hip hop and R and B, BJ the Chicago kid, DJ mm-hmm. Boogie. And we live right now. 1123 out. Go get that.